Wade Davis, he was killed on April 10th, 1962. And I conclude in my book that the Zodiac most likely killed Ray Davis. There's a lot of evidence pointing to the Zodiac. Um, we can briefly go through the case. And it basically started on April 9th, 1962, when the o Oceanside Police Department received a phone call, a one-way call. And the caller, he stated, I'm going to pull something here in Oceanside, and you'll never be able to figure it out. And the caller probably thought it was a prank call. And, but the next day, on April 10th, 1962, Ray Davis, he goes to work for the Checker Cab Company. At 11.12 uh, p.m., he briefly talks to his dispatcher. And that's the last thing we ever heard about him, heard from him. And then later uh, in the morning at 1.45 a.m., his body is found in the most exclusive part of Oceanside. Um, but it was not in it was not inside his cab. He has been dragged out outside of the cab and then dumped. Davis has been shot two times. One the the coroner he said that he, he he died from the from from the bullet wounds through his heart that impacted his heart. And but he was also shot in the head. And nobody connected the first call on April 9th and and this murder. However, on April the fifteenth. 1962, the police got another call. And this time, um, it, we know now it was the killer calling. He said, do you remember me calling you last week and telling you that I was going to pull a real baffling crime? I killed the cab driver and I'm going to get me a bus driver next. And in the book, I demonstrate that there's a great likelihood that, that Ray Davis, he was killed by the Zodiac. First, there are numerous similarities between the murder of Paul Stein, a confirmed Zodiac murder, and the killing of Ray Davis. And second, uh, a linguistic analysis and comparison between the language of the Zodiac killer and to those phone calls that I just mentioned shows a lot of similarities. Um, so, you know, that's in addition to the wording, the vocabulary and ideas, then we also have this psycholinguistic profile, which is identical to that of the Zodiac. And that indicates with a great deal of likelihood that, that the Zodiac killed Ray Davis and also made these phone calls. Um, for instance, um, just on the face of it, both of them took credit for the crimes. Both of them threatened public transportation. The killer, Ray Davis, he said he was he was going to get a bus driver next. The sort that he threatened to drive out a, a school bus some morning. So already the same pattern. He, 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 we're already seeing the same pattern here. Uh, the killer, Ray Davis, uh, the ammunition he used was 22 caliber long rifle ammunition. On December 20th, 1968, Zodiac killed David uh, Faraday and Bellu Jensen with 22 caliber long rifle ammunition. Uh, so, you know, there's a pattern here. Um, uh, both, both the details of the crime and also the ammunition, uh, the language, uh, the psychological profile, all of these things match the Zodiac. So there's a very high likelihood we're dealing with the same individual. So we had the killing of Ray Davis in 1962 in Oceanside. And then on July 4th, 1963, uh, you have Robert Domingos and Linda Faye Edwards. They were gone down on an isolated stretch of beach north of Santa Barbara. And the, investig in the investigation indicated that, the, that the, after the initial confrontation, the assailant, he ordered Linda to tie up Robert with pre-cut lengths of rope. He then tied up her hands, but then they were able to escape. Robert, he was a strong footballer. And then the killer shot them. He then reloaded and approached them and shot them again. He used 22 caliber long rifle ammunition. Same type of ammunition used in the killing of Ray Davis. So in the early 1970s, uh, detectives uh, Bill Bake and John Carpenter, they issued a press release uh, which detailed new leads. And they said, and I quote, Considerable evidence points to the murders of Linda Edwards and Robert Domingos as being the work of the infamous Zodiac. So 
there was a lot of evidence pointing to the Zodiac being responsible for the killing of Robert Dominguez and Linda Edwards. For instance, the killer, he ordered uh, Linda to tie up Robert with pre-cut lengths of rope. The Zodiac did the exact same thing uh, on September, 20th, uh, September 27th, 1969, when at Lake Bay Reservoir, when he ordered um, Cecilia Shepard to tie up Brian Hartnell with pre-cut lengths of rope that he brought to the crime scene, just like here in 1963. So it's the same methodology. Now, there's another very important point here. In the days prior to the slaying of Domingos and Edwards, a sniper was operating in the area. Uh, there were three or four different sniper incidences, uh, including one in the exact same area as, as Domingos and Edwards were gunned down. Now, this gets very important later on because on um, the 5th of February, 1964, uh, on Ocean Beach near San Diego, Johnny and Joy Swindle were shot by a sniper who used long rifle ammunition, again, 22 caliber. Also, in this incident, the, the killer, he shot them at a distance, just like those sniper incidents that I mentioned. After shooting them, he approached them and shot them again. He did the same thing with Domingos and Edwards. He shot them, reloaded, approached them, and shot them again. Then he got, got lucky with Johnny and Joyce. He was able to hit them at approximately 50 feet distance um, while they were enjoying a romantic moment on the beach, looking towards the ocean, and then he shot them. And then he approached them, shot them again. And then it appears that he took uh, Johnny's wallet as well as his um, wristwatch. The, the wristwatch and wallet was taken from Johnny and then Paul Stein, who was killed in October 1969, the Sordek took his wallet and his keys, I believe it were. And the, the, these were probably trophies. Uh, some serial killers, they take trophies from their victims, not like they actually uh, doing it for monetary purposes. It, it's, it's a way to keep some kind of item from the crime so they can go back in their mind and relive the crime. That's the purpose of taking the trophy. I think there's a great deal of likelihood that the Zodiac could kill Ray Davis, that he killed Domingos and Edwards, and also John and Joyce Swindle. We have the distinct fingerprint of the Zodiac uh, on these cases in Southern California, such as calling the police, threatening the public, taking credit for, for murders, um, threatening public transportation, uh, using murder as a vehicle for attention, uh, making false threats to terrorize the public, uh, using 22 caliber long rifle ammunition. And then you have the language of the phone calls. And that's, that indicates strongly that the Zodiac, he made them. When, when you look at both the wording, the vocabulary, the ideas, but also the psycholinguistic profile, which you can extract from, from the phone calls and then look at what do we know about the Zodiac psychology? Well, these match.